All right, so I am back in the garage working on Super yet again, buttoning up little things. A lot has happened since I guess the last video you guys watched, um, and I will update you right now. So the last video was actually about a week ago. Um, I was going through pretty busy stuff, and I was I was kind of late, so I apologize on that video dropping so damn late. But we were back on a horse, and we are getting done on the Supra and I will show you guys exactly what I did and kind of what my plans are. So I guess the last time I left off with the throttle cable I was mounting this bracket which works I just got to tighten this up a little bit more. This cable is actually pulled tighter and I will explain in a second why. Put some power steering fluid in which I think I'm going to have to drain because I think I have to run automatic transmission fluid. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to confirm with a friend and see if that's true I also completed this and I ran all the wiring it runs down into here and then obviously down to my ECU which I still have to pin that out which we will be doing today as you can see as well my front seat is out but that's where I stand with the throttle cable and pulling out the front seat now I will let you guys know that I do intend on probably just buying uh, racing seats point being is I'm not going to make this March 30th show um, with Texas 2k coming up the tuna is kind of busy and he's backlogged on stuff so I think my base map is going to have to wait probably about a week or so I also actually picked up the wheels from the paint body shop they are not here because I actually sent them back to powder coating um, the reason being is because I accidentally dropped um, something on the lip of one of the rear, rear wheels sorry dropped off the powder coater I'm having him paint, re-powder coat them. They were actually painted before, but he's gonna powder coat them and he just has this uh, super durable paint or whatever it is called. He said they'll actually hold up a lot better to um, road debris if you accidentally drop something. He's like, now don't drop like a boulder on it. It will actually chip, but he's just like, it'll withstand a little more harshness. I actually had to fix something on my hood. Um, it wasn't fully latching, so I actually was trying to figure out what was bump, what was stopping it, and come to find out that it was the the little rubber isolators or whatever bushings or whatever underneath the radiator. They weren't actually pressed through the hole, so I had to kind of pry them through the holes. And once I did that, hood closed, and now I'm just gonna kind of make fine adjustments with the bump stops for the hood. Good to go with that. All right, so now I got that done, I'm going to mount the front bumper. It's a little warped, but I think I'm gonna take that lip off. I don't know if I'm gonna use it or not. So I'm gonna mount that front bumper right now. I know I really shouldn't, but I'm getting too excited and I wanna make sure that the intercooler pipes will clear the actual cutouts and I don't have to cut even more. Um, I also do have headlights possibly on the way. We'll, I, guess we'll, I guess we'll wait and see. So the front bumper is on, it is tight with the two bolts right here and on both sides. Now I did zip tie down here, but that's just temporary. I'm going to get the actual little push pins and everything, um, but for now it's just to suck the bumper in. So everything is kind of uh, mocked up, well not mocked up, the only thing that's mocked up is the headlights. They're not going to stay on the car, I'm just mocking them up to see how it's looking. This clears just fine uh, with space to, to maneuver if I need to push it inward a little bit. All right, so actually gonna sidetrack real quick. One of the things I did want to take care of was I wanted to remove the passenger side seat. As you saw previous, uh, recently, well before, I took the driver's seat out. That's to tighten up the throttle cable, but I want to remove the uh, passenger side seat as well. Um, I'm going to be getting rid of these seats, the front and the rear. They will be for sale. I will post them on my Instagram or just DM me and ask me for a price. All right, so both seats are out, driver, passenger. 
Um, this was actually a lot easier because this slid. This one was a little more difficult because I couldn't slide it because I didn't have no power to it. So here it is underneath the seat. That is actually a factory amp, I'm pretty sure. So these, these are the spots right here, there, 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 there. And then there's one right over here that uh, kind of the bracket, this bracket went to both spots. I'm going to go pop the pins out. I went to load up my laptop because I have all the pictures saved with the proper pinouts and everything um, with the IGNs versus the OEM patch harness, which I'm pretty sure this is how it is. It's 50, if you use uh, pinouts 52 through 57, and those are for the ignition coils, I think uh, one through six respectively, like that. But my laptop actually died, so I'm gonna let it charge for a little bit. And in the meantime, I can wire up my IAC at least um, I can't mount the IAC yet because I don't have the gasket. Once I get the gasket, I'll be able to mount it, bolt it up, and it should, should be good to go. But I'm going to get cracking on that because a buddy of mine just sent me the schematics or wiring diagram for it because I didn't have it. Okay, so after a little um, thinking, which is hard for me to do sometimes, and I did phone a friend, so he actually helped me out a lot. So that was the one he sent me. Um, unfortunately, those colors are nowhere near what I needed. Um, the only one that I had that was correct was violet yellow. The problem is there's nothing in pinout 32 through 35 for mine. In my pinout, in my ECU, this is how it's pinned out right now. Those are the wires that are underneath the hood right now. Those are the colors. So since I'm only using four of the pinouts, I'm using one and four and three and six respectively. These two go hand in hand, I guess. And then red, I think was power. So since the infinity doesn't really need to, I guess, use red for power. I don't know, maybe someone can correct me on that. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm still waiting for my laptop to charge a little bit more so I can actually take it off the charger and bring it into the car with me so I don't have to keep running back and forth. Uh, I'm gonna wire up the IAC right now. Um, like I said, I can't mount it just yet. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow I have the actual gasket for it and I'll be able to mount it. I'm not gonna film that. All right, so I got the plug once I can grab it that I kept the other two pins, uh, the other two uh, wires, just in case I needed them. But everything's all uh, spliced together. It is shrink wrap, heat shrink, whatever you want to call it. I don't actually know if I filmed this. Uh, I know I put the bumper on, but I don't know if I actually showed it before when I actually put it on. But this got warped because I'm an idiot and I had it up on the back of my car and I had it kind of face down. So it, it kind of warped the front lip and in doing so, it warped this. So this is actually slowly getting back to where it's supposed to be. This side is where it's supposed to be. But I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this lip. I don't know how I feel about it painted on this car, especially since I have carbon fiber here. Okay, so what you see me doing here is I'm actually Pulling the patch harness from the actual engine harness, the, the car's main harness. What happened was I lost footage. Um, I don't know what I did, but I landed. I must have deleted it by accident. So I apologize that it, this video is going to be kind of skipping back and forth. Um, I formatted my my SD card, and I didn't realize some of the video footage was actually lost. So now that I got that unplugged, I think it's time to de-pin that connector and pop the new pins in for the actual ignition coils. All right, so doing a little digging and going back and forth and just trying to get everything corrected. Uh, don't mind all this. This was from the IAC and this is for my aux pin out. A lot of riding on here. Very confusing. So let me explain. So I used to have a V2 in the car. So right side V2, right side means the actual plug since it's a two plugs it's the left side and right side from toyota it's labeled like one through i think 80. mine is labeled one through 40 right side one through 40 left side so seeing that i have the right side this is with the v2 and then i have the right side with the 506 which is my infinity so down at the connector right now is pin out 34 through 39 same and these are the colors gray yellow blue red gray white black uh, blue black so on and so forth and that's for ignition one two three four five six 
So with the PHR kit, they send you, thankfully all the wires are white, and then they just have brown, red, blue, yellow, gray, orange. And that's one through six respectively. So judging if I did my little homework correctly, 34 through 39 should be the actual pinouts for the ignition. I'm assuming 34 is ignition one. If not, then we're gonna have to reverse all of them and start from 39 down. Hopefully it is 34 was ignition one. So basically I just have to pop those six out and take the white and white blue for ignition one, pop down to 34 and then go down a line according as per PHR's schematics. Wish me luck. I don't think you guys are going to be, be able to really see this with me popping the pins out. Uh, I'm going to try my best, but a lot of the footage is probably just going to be to my back or my arm. And they're out so as you may or may not saw got them all depinned um, I, now we can go ahead and just pop the new ones in and they should just be direct um, can't think of the word they should just pop right in so I ran into a little problem um, it's not a terrible terrible thing but it is a problem nonetheless so I popped these in to their respective spot in this plug problem is is these stick out too far and what that does is it doesn't allow this to sit flush so the problem with that is you could possibly bend the pins in here which you do not want to do so I sent a picture of them to a buddy of mine um, he's gonna look over them I may have to repin these which is not a terrible idea a terrible thing just cut put the new pin on good to go but I'm not going to let that slow me down. I'm going to continue. I'm going to run the power wire to the trunk area now from the relay and I can also at least mount the relay and ground it. Alright, so apologize I haven't been filming. Um, it's very difficult to film and actually capture what I'm doing. <clears throat> problem is is because I'm laying down inside the car so there's no real spots to put the camera but I will show you exactly what I've been doing all right so as soon as I focus here so I had to clip my 12 volt source and the reason being is because I think this relay whatever it is I think I'm pretty sure it's a relay that's supposed to go to a some sort of 12 volt source but the terminal on the end of it I don't know where it is this was on the end um, so I would imagine obviously it would hook up to a battery problem is my battery's in the trunk and I didn't run this to the trunk I'm not going to run that to the trunk. I think it's better up there So I I crimped the two wires that ran to it running a 14 gauge all the way back like I said to the battery but I'm gonna keep rolling with this and uh I'll update you guys once I get everything wired in and I'll probably I can film when it's actually running to the back of the trunk um, with the battery and everything all right so let me give you guys a quick little update I have the 12 volt power ran I have the ground ran for that um, relay the 12 volt comes off ground is right here runs down through here out down zip tied to this power wire and I just left these two here until I put the battery back in once I do that I will cut these crimp them and then I will be good to go with that power I know it's not the cleanest run um, I wish like I, I like I said before I wish these wires I could put them down here but without doing that I have to depend them from each of these relays and these fuse inline fuses unfortunately I, I don't feel like doing that that's just more time consuming so this will have to do remember like I keep saying this is all gonna be covered I'm gonna be covering all of this and everything you're gonna see is kinda of the top of the battery the very very top of the battery sticking out but I'm still trying to get confirmation on whether or not those pins are gonna work with my ECU uh, harness or I'm gonna have to like repin it 
Um, a buddy of mine, he's doing something real quick and he's gonna give me a call. Once he gives me a call, he's gonna tell me, hey, you know, they don't, they're not the same pin that's supposed to go in. Um, they clip a little bit further inward instead of where they're supposed to, where they sit flush. I think this is where I'm going to end this video. Um, I'm not gonna film anymore because I'm still waiting on what pins I need. I may need to, I guess, swap out for the, the ignition coil harness. Um, there's also a couple other wires that I have to figure out that, uh, just two wires. It's, uh, one's a ground and the other one's for ignition switch. I just gotta trace the wire from back from the harness. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Hit that little notification bell so you guys do know when I upload a new video. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. Killing the game and I gotta go ask anybody, they all heard about it. They know when they're kidding, he's spitting it, know when he getting it, better I get in my way. Got this, I like to